are you in your dark feminine or are you just playing? Are you just playing? Are you just dressing up? Are you just wearing eyeliner and wearing black and thinking this is it? Like black cat. Mm. Okay. What if I told you there's a deeper layer to the whole embodiment of dark feminine energy concepts that you could use to really not use to impress other people, but to literally be more embodied within yourself and make the quality of your life better? What about that? Doesn't that sound so much better than just wearing whatever we think in our mind is dark feminine energy and using it as a manipulation tool? Um, you know, I also noticed that people use this concept to like mainly focus on seduction techniques and uh, i feel like that's doing this concept a disservice so i'm gonna explain what dark feminine energy means to me and hopefully you get where i'm coming from so dark feminine energy is this is what my definition of dark feminine energy is it's the girl that you were before you had to change and adjust to the world so if you've ever spent time even with like a little girl you notice how they don't have any problem saying no. They say whatever's on their mind. If they don't want to do something, they don't do it. And, you know, they look cute. And they just, they don't feel any guilt and self-doubt after expressing themselves. That's them being in their unapologetic energy, unapologetic feminine energy especially. And to me, that's what dark feminine energy means because it's the person that you were before the world told you how to be, before you change your behavior to adjust to other people like that's who you really are that's like your real and raw energy and your full expression of yourself and concepts like this dark feminine energy and feminine energy as a whole um is meant to use for women to understand as an embodiment to better their relationship with themselves to better their relationships with their partners and to really reconnect with their bodies in this world where we are sometimes pushed to be into our masculine which can trigger a fight or flight response and just leave us feeling unfulfilled and, and, and unhappy so dark feminine energy is just one expression of the embodiment of being in your feminine energy and you know for women this is a natural way this is a more natural way of being and we need both feminine and masculine energy to literally survive because we also need structure but it's okay to lean more toward your feminine energy if you identify as a woman okay like that's okay and learning to embody your feminine energy is something that can transform your life because it impacts literally the way that you see the world the way that you treat yourself and even your nervous system it really is that deep so although these concepts are sometimes arbitrary and used as like a quick fix um, and, you know, sometimes I feel misrepresented online, especially um, if you really take what helps you from these concepts and embody them and don't just use them as an external thing to like manipulate people and appear a certain way, but you actually digest the information and learn to behave in this way and rely on it when you need to, it can change your life. So my definition of dark feminine energy is the girl that you were before you had to change and adjust to the world before you had to learn that you know you need to be quiet so that people can accept you or you know speaking your opinion gets you in trouble or whatever it is whatever your unique symptom of the nice girl behavior is this is the opposite of that and when you can embody your dark feminine energy when necessary like it can really help you and we don't have to be stuck in one mode this is just one form of expression so your real and raw energy, your real thoughts, your real desires. Have you ever had the experience of, you know, switching in different environments, how you act? Okay. So sometimes, you know, there is, um, sometimes there are reasons that we do that, like socially, and I understand. But when it comes down to who you really are, like, don't. The embodiment of dark feminine energy is not changing who you are to fit into different environments. Be who you are all the time, you know, so that you don't have this duplicity inside of you that really disconnects you from yourself and just leaves you feeling so confused, so disconnected, unfulfilled, and bottom line, unhappy. Be who you really are. Allow yourself the permission to be real and be raw and be bold. Like, Another element of dark feminine energy is speaking your real opinions and using your voice and not overly trying to sound so politically correct. You know, 
really just speaking your opinion. That's an embodiment of dark feminine energy. And it's unfortunate that sometimes when you're just speaking your thoughts, people interpret that as being like bitchy or whatever the case may be. But the truth is that not everybody's going to like you. And that's also an embodiment of dark feminine energy is accepting that. You know, it's just being bold and unapologetically fierce, as some people say. So using your activated voice, really speaking from your heart, speaking what you really want to say instead of trying to tiptoe around things, not trying to upset people. Like when you're in your dark feminine, you just speak what you think. Obviously not to use towards somebody as a harm, but you're just not afraid of being seen and heard. You're not ashamed of who you are. You speak your your voice. You speak your truth. You don't do things that you don't want to do just to make somebody else happy. When you're embodying your dark feminine energy, you're embodying that feeling of like not being afraid to be seen, not being afraid to be heard. Your unconditioned, your unconditioned self is you in your dark feminine energy. The idea that you have to be like somebody you're not, dress like a way that you're not, being your black cat energy, this is like the gimmick version of dark feminine energy. It's not the true embodiment. And, you know, dressing up is fun, but if you really want to transform your life and embody these things so that they can help you and help you explore like your true self and really just express yourself, then it takes more than that. It takes more than just appearance. You know, appearance is only do so much for you. The dark feminine energy is owning your mystique and realizing that you don't need permission to live your life the way that you want to live, okay? You really don't. That's dark feminine energy. That's why people love um, Shira Seven so much because she's literally the embodiment of dark feminine energy in most of her videos. You see how she just says what she feels, how it is, her opinion, without really caring for what people have to say in response, how she responds to like the comments. Like she's embodying her dark feminine energy. She's embodying that mode. And this is something that if you are a people pleaser, if you feel like you're overly nice and people take advantage and people walk all over you, then this is an embodiment that you need to implement more into your life. And trust me, I've been there and I have to constantly remind myself that, you know, I don't need to be that way and there are things that I can do to protect myself and live a more fulfilled and happy life, okay? Because you deserve it. And it's just another flavor of feminine energy. So there's many different flavors, many different embodiments of what feminine energy is. Um, it's not a one size fits all. So there's when you think feminine energy, what do you think right away? Pink and you know Pilates princess and uh, girly. Like that's one flavor of feminine energy. There's also dark feminine energy, speaking up, using your voice, not hiding, not being afraid of people seeing you, not being overly concerned about what people think about what you have to say or who you are, living your life the way you want to, giving yourself permission. That's another embodiment. There's also the mother energy, you know, that's the energy that we see mothers have toward their children. That's another form of feminine energy. And then we have like, there's just so many different flavors of feminine energy. Dark feminine energy is just one. So the important thing is to not get stuck in one mode of who you think you should be. Like, that's why when you do that, you feel unfulfilled. Brings me more to the purpose of why I wanted to talk about this concept today because i feel like it can be really useful to think of it as an embodiment for people who feel like they've just been walked over and like they get taken advantage of for their kindness which is sometimes disguised people pleasing which is not the same as kindness but you know being a doormat and having your kindness like taking advantage of sometimes we have to take some personal responsibility over that as well because there's something that we did unfortunately along the way that allowed people to feel like they could do that to us so sometimes when we don't speak up and when we don't really say how we feel because we want to be accommodating we do ourselves mainly a disservice because now we're putting ourselves in a position where we might get taken advantage of and then in the end it's really your fault it's not really the other person's fault because you didn't really say how you felt you didn't really say the way that you feel so how can you expect somebody to uphold that for you and that's when the embodiment of dark feminine energy comes in especially around speaking up like that's a dark feminine energy trait and that's something that we really do have to embody one for our safety two for the authenticity of our relationships because you don't want them to be based around somebody that you're not you should feel 
um, like you can speak your mind, obviously in a respectful way, nothing ever, you know, use your own judgment, but like we need to give ourselves permission to really live our lives the way that we want to and be who we really are instead of constantly doing this thing where we're shape-shifting into trying to, you know, make everybody happy because first of all, two problems there. One, nobody will ever be, like, no, there's no world where everybody will like you. There is just no world. So even if you try with all your might to be like this perfect person and make everybody happy, you will never get there because there's no way that everybody will like you. And what does that say? It says that everybody liking you is an unnatural thing. So that's why it's better to own who you are and, and be yourself. And that's why these concepts are so popular because they remind women that this is something that they can do this is something that they have authority over like they can choose to embody this at any time so that's kind of the deeper reason behind why i wanted to talk about this because it's definitely something that i had to learn you know i was and this is all just like conditioning and programs that we have from society from people in our lives where we just start feeling like it's not safe to be ourselves it's not safe to speak up people will be mad um you know envy there's the list goes on and on but like we still still get to live our best life we still get to speak up we still get to be who we really are we don't have to live in this perpetual state of hiding it's just not the you know quality of life that we're striving for and that's why people who embody their dark feminine energy are often admired because in a way they overcame a fear that's ingrained in a lot of women and you can do this too it just takes practice and it just takes embodiment that's where concepts like dark feminine energy come in to help you so people hear this concept and they get stuck on the manipulation techniques and the seduction seduction techniques but it's really a lot more than that like i just explained and you know if even if you're using all of your energy to um you know get perceived a certain way basically to manipulate people you're still putting people at um, an advantage over you and they still have power over you because you're doing everything that you can to make sure they see you a certain way and to get like um an outcome basically that person liking you that person wanting you around or whatever the case may be you're still basically like working for that person you're not really living in your authentic truth if you're doing that. So focusing on manipulation and, you know, overly being concerned with how to like seduce people is cringe. And, you know, it's not what it's not like it shouldn't be your main purpose. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be fulfilled and you're going to feel really disconnected from yourself if you live that way. So it's your true and your wild self. Maybe it's perceived sometimes as bitchy. It's not really received well by certain people. Guess what? Good good now you're putting a filter on the people that you want in your life and the people that you don't and your life is going to be a lot better because you have people with like minds around you instead of just wanting to be liked by all like you're really liked by none and you're you yourself are being fake to yourself so you know embodying your dark feminine energy is really just getting reconnected to who you really are and that takes time and um discernment in a world where we're basically conditioned to be accepted and overly concerned with how people are receiving us uh, for a matter of like um you know sometimes it can re register in our nervous system as like feeling safe like we're not safe if people don't like us but you know you have to that's when your consciousness comes in and you have to really decide if this thing is worth the energy and the stress that you're putting on yourself like it's not a do or die situation if somebody doesn't like you even though it feels like that it can feel like a really strong reaction trust me i understand but it's really not and you don't need to be accepted by everybody or loved or liked by everybody that's true power that's your dark feminine hope you enjoyed today's video if you did leave me a like leave me a comment and definitely check out 30 days of empress energy available in the description below for people who are looking to invest in their inner work and even if you want to start take a baby step before that I have a journal available for people who want to begin their inner work through journaling called Wisdom in Dark Paradise that you can also find in the description below. Begin your inner work today, okay? It's never too late. It's never too early. And you will thank yourself because it's a form of energetic protection above all. And it's going to set you up for living the life that you really want and the life that you really deserve. Besos, subscribe.